Uh, I got some. I got some good shit in store. Um, I think that he's he's underestimating some things about me. Um, I don't want to give him away right now, but he's underestimating some things about me, and uh, it'll show on Saturday night. You know, with him talking about if he makes a mistake, I could kill him, and the way he fought his last fight, pressing the guy in the out of there two rounds. Do you think he's gonna come and try to press you early? I don't know. We gotta see. We gotta see. Um, well, I don't. I don't know what type of fight he'll bring. Um, I know that he has experience, so you know he he can switch it up. But I don't know. We just gotta see. Devin, do you? But uh, my bad. But um, if he he's saying that if I make a mistake, but what if I don't make mistakes? That's the thing. Do you feel, given that he's had a lot of knockouts early on in the fight, that you gotta maybe test him early on and really put the pressure on him and see if he can break in the early rounds? Um, well, I mean that's the key to to you know. Of course, you want to test him out and see you know if if they can stand in there with you. But um, I don't know. We gotta just see. I, I gotta get in there and uh and and see what uh what he brings to the table, but I'm ready. But you got to feel, though, too, that it, the opportunity is there for you to go ahead and do that. And uh, you got to think also, hey, I, I can't get this guy out early because of, of what's happened in the prior fights. Um, No, because uh, Styles make fights and, you know, he's 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 at a different point in his career and he, he may just bring a totally different style to the fight. You know, so I can't underestimate him just because he'd been knocked out in the past or knocked out in the early rounds because, you know, he's been in war. He's, he's been stopped late as well. I think DeMar DeMarco stopped him in 11th, 11th round. So uh, he showed that he can be, get stopped all through the 12th rounds now. But we just got to see. You know, there's talk of power and speed in boxing all the time. But it, it seems like, you know, your calling card is your skills. Is that what you want to separate yourself with Saturday night, that you're the most skilled fighter? Well, skills pay the bills. So that's that, that speaks for itself. What was your reaction when you said how just how you think of uh, maybe a Lopez fighter or just any other fight? Well, he won't make it. He won't make it to those fights. So I don't even know why he even think about those because he won't make it. As he was just leaving, he said that you are the WBC champion. He said you'll be champion today and you'll be champion tomorrow on Saturday. But come Saturday night, that he will then uh, become champion. With any reaction? Or, uh, well, that, that's 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 what he's supposed to say. You know, he's supposed to say that. Um, if he was saying anything different, then you know we would think something was wrong. So you know, he's supposed to say that. Uh, but on Saturday night, the world will see. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I got the chance to, you know, see him and feel and get a feel for him, and uh, I feel even more ready. With all this talk about the mistakes that you might make, you think he's forgetting that you might capitalize on his mistakes? I mean, yeah, and he makes a lot of mistakes. So, um, but we just gotta see, you know, we just gotta see. I, I can never underestimate. I can never underestimate, you know, him and what he what he brings to the table. But um. Anybody can say that. Any, he's, he's saying stuff that anything, anybody can say. Anybody can say, oh, well, I have experience. Okay. Well, it's people get beat with experience every day. That's how he became world champion first time in his career. Um, it's, he, he can say, oh, um, if he makes a mistake, then I'm going to knock him out. Well, I'm, I, of course, I would say the same thing. So, I mean, skills pay the bills. It'll show on Saturday night. Dev, do you think in Vegas before? But how do you feel about you know this is the biggest event? Obviously, you've headlining uh, title fight here in Vegas. How does it feel that you know it finally came around? Um, this is what I've been waiting for. This is like finally like my time to shine on a big stage. I'm thankful for it. I thank God for it. Um, I'm so blessed, and I look forward to you know sh showing the world, get, giving you guys a treat. Devin, do you think too, if you, you've had guys in the past talk about fighting you, and then? For whatever reason, it turns out to not go down. Do you think TFU most serious about fighting you next, or is it cap, like you've said in the past about other fighters? I don't know. We just got to see. But it, it all starts with Saturday night. Uh, you know, the difference between me and TFU, I'm fighting a, a, a real threat. He's fighting a guy who he's talking about me more than he's talking about the guy that he's fighting. So um, right now, I'm focused on Jorge Linares. Do you feel like, you know, forget media, anything like that, do you feel like you have something extra to prove Saturday night? Uh, no, I'm just going to go in there and have fun. Uh, it, it is no pressure. You know, Jorge Linares, speak, his, his resume and his, who he is speaks for itself. So it's not. It, I don't need to prove anything to anybody. Um, I'm just going to go in there and do what I do, have fun, and uh, get the job done. How do you envision the fight in your mind, Devin? Um, I don't know. What you got to see? Oh, 
Oh, no, it, it made me more focused, like, because it was, like, a little, like, um, like, a little, like, rivalry going on. You know, we all wanted to outdo each other. But, um, so it, it, it motivated me even more. I know Ben Davison was assisting in camp. He was training Josh Taylor at the same time. Was there any time you guys were working in the gym, uh, same time? Uh, no, no. Uh, Desmond, Is I that saw, a fight you'd want in the future? <laughs> I saw you post on your social media recently. Just talk about seeing uh, your face, you know, at the MGM Grand and all up and down the Las Vegas Strip, you know, so young at only 22 years old. What, you know, what was that feeling like? It's a blessing that um, that I'm here at, at this stage in my career, um, but this is only the beginning. You know, this is always a, a dream of mine to you know be be headlining in Vegas, my face on billboards and stuff like that. But um, this is you guys are gonna see this for for years to come from from this point on. So this is only the beginning, and um, I'm ready for it. Okay. You seem you seem real, real comfortable for this fight. Is it, are you just confident in the way you train and the way you prepare yourself? Yeah, I'm just relaxed. I'm relaxed because um, I feel like I prepared well. Um, I'm ready for it. This, this is finally my time to shine. And uh, I, I look forward to just showcasing everything that I've been working on. I prepared for any scenario possible. Was this the best camp yet? Uh, I don't really like to say if it's the best camp yet because um, every camp is good. Uh, me and Ben, we've been friends for like a while now. Um, so we we just would um, like he would give me tips, like you know, like he he'll hit me up like every fight or you know during camp, like oh what's up, like how you doing, Any, like and give me little tips. And then uh, I knew that he was gonna be out here for the Josh Taylor fight, so then he hit me up like oh bro, let's get some work in. So I was like yeah, let's do it, hell yeah. So um, that's how that came about. What have you picked up from working with Ben Davis? A lot, a lot, and it, uh, some of the things we've been we've been working on, we'll show on Saturday night. Do you think that it'll continue beyond this point, or is it just because he was already in Vegas? Say it again. Uh, do you think that the relationship will continue moving forward, or is it just because he was in Vegas it made it convenient? No, no, of course. Uh, ben Ben Davison, he's he's a, uh, also a friend of mine as well. So of course, I, uh, you know, we're gonna get more work in. Um, my dad is my head coach, but. Ben has been a tremendous help in camp as well, uh, putting the finishing touches on the, on on um, this camp, and uh, I look forward to it. Uh, drink, drinking water day before weighing a lot, not something you see a lot of fighters doing. I'm assuming, I'm assuming weight's great for you. I don't have weight problems. I don't ever have weight problems. Would you, would you I know in the excited? past you won an Alamanchenko fight. Obviously, he has a fight coming up also this month. Does it make sense for you to give him that opportunity at the WC belt? Say one more time, sorry. I know you wanted Alamanchenko fight in the past when he was the champion. Does yeah. it make sense for you to give him an opportunity if you're victorious on Saturday night and if he wins his fight against Nakatani? Well, of course I could say um, all the fights that I want to make in the future, but my main focus right now is Jorge Linares. Um, I don't want to look past him. I know that he's a real threat. Uh, you know, on paper, it, it, it showed his resume has showed that he's the toughest test. But on Saturday night, I want to make it an easy night. So I want to just put all my focus into into Saturday. I know your team was calling him a five-time loser and saying that he's going to be a six-time loser. How do you see yourself beating Leonidas on Saturday night? Um, I just see myself being victorious. I don't want to give away no game plan or nothing like that. Um, but, um, you know, he lost five times, but he lost against good fighters, um, mostly good fighters. So... All of them by knockout, so the six ones, you, you don't want to predict a knockout? Uh, no, I don't want to make any predictions for a knockout because Styles make fights, and, you know, he's at a point in his career where he has a lot of experience. And like in boy, some people, they just know how to survive. Do you think he'll still be able to hold up to taking punches durability-wise? You know, like the body looks good, the speed looks good, but, you know, getting older there, do you think it'll be hard for him to take the punches coming his way? The um... We got to see because there's going to be a lot of them. So we got to see if, if, if he could take a lot a, a lot of punches. Uh, anybody could take one, maybe two. But when it's a lot of them coming, we got to see. When you say you want to showcase your talents, are you looking to take this into the late rounds, just uh, showcasing your talents throughout the fight? Are you trying to get rid of them early? Um, it, 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 it doesn't matter. If we go 12 rounds and I'm able to showcase my full arsenal, then so be it. If it's a knockout early, so be it. If it's a uh, late round, not, late, late, late fight knockout, it's, it's cool. You got some fighters that look up to you, uh, specifically Darren Cunningham. Talk about your relationship with Cunningham and how that's developed. Oh, well, you know, Darren uh, is someone who's, you know, f followed my path, and uh, he's uh, doing a tremendous job. How hard do you feel this fight is going to be, Devin, if ha uh, hard at all for you? 
I don't know. Like I said, I can't underestimate him. Um, I'm not going to just say, oh, it's going to be a hard, tough fight uh, just by his resume or who he's fought in the past because I feel like none of them guys were me. I'm, he feels like he's on a different level, but I feel like I'm on a different level too. Uh, he's never seen nobody with a style like mine, with the speed, the the, the slickness, the the, the 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 everything, just the whole package. I have the whole package. You know, Loma Loma is – is is good. Don't get me wrong. He's a he's a he's a great fighter. He has good movement, ring generalship, and stuff like that. But I'm just different. Devin, do you, these guys will fight you at lightweight. Do you have you had any thoughts about moving up to 140? Um, of course I thought about it, but um, like I said, I I could I could say what I would do in the future, but um, Saturday night is my main focus right now, and uh, my weight is good, and I'm I may weight comfortably this fight, so. What it was like having Amari up there in camp with you. Obviously, he's on the undercard. He's been working with you. Uh, Amari, uh, having a young fighter, obviously, under you, you being a young fighter yourself, but with experience, just uh, Amari yeah. Jones. Yeah, this is Amari Jones. He making his, uh, well, this is going to be his second fight. Um, he's on the card, and when he's been pushing me all through camp. And all through camp, we, we race to the finish line at every single day, so he's been pushing me. So I want to I try to ask him some questions and, and get to know him because he's definitely the, the future. Omar, just obviously I was just asking Devin what it was like to have you up there at Snack working with him and obviously uh, working under him. Just talk about that experience and just things you were able to learn uh, with the true training camp. Um, it was a good experience for me. Um, it was my first time doing it. Uh, it was good, uh, good training. I never did it before. Um, you know, me and Devin, even though Devin's a world champion and I'm, you know, new to the game, you know, we push each other all the time. He pushed me, I pushed him, so it was just good. Do you spar Devin? Uh, we sparred before, but not this camp, we didn't spar. What can you say about Devin? Um, Devin's quick, fast, smart in the ring, good ring IQ. Do you think he's going to knock out Leonardo this time? Nah, he ain't answering <laughs> that. He not answering that. Listen, you ain't setting him up. Listen, he, hey, he know I'm going to win. That's, that's about it. Was if, if it come, then it come. <laughs> Devin's a good mentor. He teaches me stuff inside and outside the ring about life. You know, being him being young, I'm young. You know, it's it's go hand in hand. Talk about being able to fight on the big stage. Obviously, uh, the second professional fight, being able to fight at such a historic venue here at Mandalay Bay and on such a big uh, undercard as well. Um, it's a good experience. Not a lot of guys get to do stuff like this. Um, you know, a lot of guys still fight on small shows. So I'm I'm very thankful. And, and happy to fight on a big show and a part of this history. Amari, you know, you were, I be, you know, believe number one in the United States at 152 before going pro. Yes. You know, what's that, minute, what's that transition going to be like for you, uh, pro day, and how did Devin help with that? Um, it's going to be a good transition. You know, I never had, like, a big amateur style. I, I was always very, carried myself well as a, like, like a professional, and, um, you know, it's going to be easy. And Dev, you know. Hey, he's the future. I'm telling you, y'all y'all better get here early to catch him. He's the future. Did he make it tough for you? Or was it how did it feel training with him? Uh it was it's always tough training with a world champion, but you know, I, I you know, I, I do it even though you know you think, I'm not a world champion yet. Do you think Devin at all that Lenars is looking back at the time you went in the gym and sparred him and still kinda have that in the, in his mind even though you're older and more experienced now? That's a good question because I do think that he's you know, he's he's going back to when he sparred me when I would think I was like 17, 18 years old, I, I was still fighting in Mexico. So you could go, you know, go back on the sparring and, and go think about what happened then. But it's a total different level now. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a grown man now. And uh, it will show on Saturday night. But thank you, guys. Uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV. And give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV, on Twitter, and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.